Welcome to Season 2, Episode 10 of Chris Cast. Today we're going to talk about slow jogging, uh, my relationship to it, what it is, why I'm so proud, and why this is so exciting. It's right after this little bit of advertisement, so stay tuned. Thank you for being here. So, as a as a kid, I didn't run a lot. And then I got into ROTC, JROTC in high school, and got really into shape through PT. And um, long, 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 long uh, runs with the with with the uh, other guys on the team and. Uh, and then I joined wrestling, and I did a lot of running then. And then I uh, had a knee injury from a guy doing a single leg take, from a guy sitting on my knee during a single leg takedown. And then uh, after I recovered, I took up running as a serious thing and did a little bit of competition, not winning or anything, but you know, doing a lot of five k's, ten k's, things like that. I even wore a uh, t-shirt advertising the chiropractor that helped get my knee back into shape after that uh, wrestling injury. I took it all the way through high school, and then I really was into it in college and joined the rowing team, and actually it benefited me a lot that I was pretty pretty fit um, and been running off, off and on my entire life. Uh, however, you know, um, I'm really heavy right now extremely uh overweight and um even a few years ago I was like that and I took up running and I realized that I was running at between 13 and 16 minute miles which is really slow and a lot of the times I would be uh um DFL dead f and last and it didn't bother me in fact I felt it was pretty cool so I started a running blog called rnnr.us, um, not really spending that much time with it, and embraced embraced the suck, really embraced the fact that I was a slow runner. And then slow running became, ah, you know what, I'm a jogger. And so I uh, took up what I called slow jogging. Uh, unbeknownst to me, a uh, an amazing old Japanese man named Dr. Uh, Hiroki Tanaka and a Polish woman living in Japan named Magdalena uh, Jakowska, they wrote a book called Slow Jogging. And it is a book you can get on Amazon. And it is uh, it is basically all about learning to embrace the slow the slow jog the slow run um it's really cool and i will read you a little bit about it um and you would be so surprised how slow um and how considered it is but i'll tell you a secret about it later um the name of the book is called Slow Jogging, Lose Weight, Stay Healthy, and Have Fun with Science-Based Natural Running. And uh, here is... So, Hiroki Tanaka is a professor at Fukuoka University in Japan and the founder and director of the Fukuoka University Institute for Physical Activity. Currently, he's the director of the Japanese Academic Running Society and, as, and an advisor to the Ashahi Running Shoe Company. Uh, Tanaka lives in Fukuoka, Japan. I'm going to look at that. Asha, Asha, Ashashi Running Shoe Company. Um, it is amazing. Uh, and I was so into the whole idea of running and now it's it's all relative right so it basically says that you should run 
slow enough and with quick enough cadence that you always can breathe, talk, and smile. And as we know from uh, from any type of um, heart rate uh, running strategy, as your strength, endurance, and fitness improve, your definition of slow jogging, your definition of being able to maintain a smile, a happy face, a conversational tone is going to increase. Um, When you just start, you might be, you know, going as slow as possible, actually. But when you become uh, an accomplished slow jogger, you will probably run or jog a little bit faster. One of the things I felt funny Uh, I found funny is that when I slow jogged naturally, first of all, it really bummed out my ex-girlfriend Betsy because she, she was a quick, much quicker jogger than I was. And she would, uh, run up ahead, wait, wait for me. And I would just be what I called a zombie shuffle. I'd be zombie, zombie shuffling or and 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 I was very often passed by people walking. I was often passed by women uh, pushing their children in prams, and it never bothered me. I would just be bopping along, bopping along, and it made me very happy. And I'm going to be returning to that now. I've been walking almost exclusively because, uh, as you'll learn about me, I've had some health concerns and health issues and issues with AFib uh, and arrhythmia and all those kinds of fun things. But now I feel like I'm at the point where I could get back into slow jogging, especially since I was recently uh, completely and utterly inspired by a 75, 74-year-old new, brand new member of my um of the very first and only successful Reddit subreddit that I've ever created. Back in 2017, I created a subreddit called Slow Jogging. It's reddit.com slash, I guess, r slash slow jogging. And it was years later, back in 2019, a bunch of people rushed to it. I gave mod access to everybody. And now, uh, slow underscore jogger is a 75-year-old dude who found us. And you know what he does? He goes to the mall, and he has a cane, and he just shuffles right along. And he's posting, and he's being supported there, and he inspires me. I just turned 50. He's 25 years older than me, and he's rocking out with a, with a, stabil- with a cane. Not, not, uh, not cool alpine sticks but literally an old man cane and he actually says that by shuffling along uh it's easier for him to move around and he feels more secure and stable than he does walking and if you go to reddit right now and look up uh, slow jogging and scroll down you'll be able to see it um actually the fact that uh reddit has a sub based on slow j- uh, jogging that I created and am, and am a mod for, a moderator for, is actually one of my bucket, uh, I get to check off something in my bucket list. Anyway, everybody on the, on the uh, sub, they've embraced the slow jog. It's actually an entirely different strategy for running. Um, Ooh, I've got a very stuffy nose today, so I, sorry if my, sorry if my, uh, if it sounds terrible. The, let me see if I can go ahead and, if I can read something about it here. Until recently, unknown outside of Japan, now gaining more and more popularity worldwide, slow jogging is an exercise method elaborated by Professor 
Hiro, Hiroaki Tanaka. The term slow jogging was chosen for emphasis that even though we are talking about a sport traditionally associated with moving fast, slow can be a perfectly good way to do it. It is an efficient, healthier, and pain-free approach to running for all ages and lifestyles. The key is what we call Nico Nico pace. In Japanese, Nico Nico means smile. Unlike traditional training that require concentration and effort, slow jogging is more like taking a walk at the intensity light enough to enjoy conversation or, if by yourself, to just smile. For most beginners, it means jogging at a walking pace. But slow jogging is not just about the pace, it's also an injury-free running technique, allowing safe beginning and efficient progress. It's the natural and gentle forefoot landing and small steps at high cadency. So, yeah, let's listen to the video. I'll just let you listen to it. I'm sorry about this. This is all kind of uh, exploration for me. And we'll see if we can make it understood. You're so fast. Do you really love running? Well, for help, for health, it would be nice to lose a bit of weight. In that case, you don't need to run that fast. Slow jogging will work just fine. It's running really, really slow. I've been doing it just now. You... Actually, jogging at walking speed is just right. Want to give it a try? Okay, let's look at your running form. Can you run slowly a bit for me? Okay, so you've been landing on your heels. Heels? The shoes you're wearing make you land on your heels. These shoes here, thin soles are what you're looking for. Now walk on the spot. That's right, you're not landing on your heels, are you? You see, it's natural. Where do you land? On the balls of your foot. Yes, somewhere in the middle. Not on the toes, right? Not on the toes. That's the natural way. Now try jumping. Yes, jump. Where do you land? Same place, right? Correct, yes. It helps minimize the landing shock during running. It's called soft landing. And keep your steps short. Straighten your back. Imagine a telegraph pole from the top of your head to the ball of your feet. There is no need to run fast, slowly, slowly. You shouldn't be running out of breath. Smile. Don't draw on your chin. Keep your head up and look at the road ahead. And chat. If you cannot talk, it means you're running too fast. Yeah, that's it. Tap, tap, tap. Do not kick. Do not kick. Tap, tap, tap. It's like jumping, correct. So how do we know our Nico Nico? It's easy when you use the Borg scale. Look here. The RPE should be between one, 10 and 12. 
rate of perceived exertion. It should be between 10 and 12, which is light. For beginners, we recommend to jog for one minute and walk for 30 seconds and repeat. You can do it several times a day, just a bit at a time. Try it anytime, anywhere. Be conscious about small steps and pitch, point one. Point two, keep your back straight. Point three, relax your shoulders, your arms should move naturally. Point four, breathe naturally. Point five, slightly raise your chin and look far ahead of you. Point six, be conscious about forefoot landing. Point seven, do not kick the ground. I'll link to this video in the uh, show notes. Sorry about the stuffy nose. To find out, read our book on slow jogging published in English last year. You can also look for slow jogging and like us on Facebook. Wasn't that fun? Anyway, I'll let you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please drop uh, drop by Slow Jogging subreddit on Reddit, and I will see you there. Thank you so much for listening to this episode, Season 2, Episode 10 of Chris Cast. My name is Chris Abraham. You can find me at chrisabraham.com. You can find me at facebook.com slash chrisabraham. You can find me at youtube.com slash chrisabraham. You can find me at twitter.com slash chrisabraham. You can find me on a boat. You can find me on a moat. You can find me on a goat. You can find me in a tote. You can especially find me in a tote. I'm bag obsessed, but we'll go into that later. If you want to email me, I'm at chris at g-e-r-r dot i-s or chris at abraham dot s-u. Uh, it's, uh, s-u is Soviet Union domain um, because the entire world is devoted to uh, uh, Abraham, the prophet. Um, Fata Abraham, and uh, so the only godless people, godless enough to not care about Abraham, were the Soviets. So I was able to score Abraham.su. Um, you can text me at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. Thank you, and subscribe and come back. Talk to you soon.